How you doing guys? This is Scott Moore from Whack Outdoors. Yesterday we started a project with the kids. They're home for Christmas and the project we started here by the house is we're going to build a shelter. The two tools that we're using to build our shelter is this knife and this folding saw. The project, it's uh, fairly early in the morning. The sun's out. It's only about 40 degrees though. All the kids are still in bed and I'm impatient this morning to get started and it, it just made me think of something I wanted to share with you men that are dads and you have kids at the house that you're dealing with. You know most of us guys that are into bushcraft and survival skills we're pretty intense about what we do and when we're working on a project we're, we're pretty focused on it and if we get other people involved in what we're doing and they're not as dedicated or as enthusiastic about it as we are, we tend to uh, dismiss them and kind of shove them aside. And uh, our kids fall into that category. I just want you to keep in mind, guys, that right now our kids, they're at a different stage in their life than us. I just had a quiet time out here in the woods where the kids got out here and got going and I was reading my Bible. I just looked right here in uh, Ephesians in the sixth chapter in verse four. And it says, Fathers, do not exasperate your children. Instead, bring them up in the training and instruction of the Lord. Yes. And I'm out here trying to work on this shelter and mine will come and go as they get other things to do. You know, we've all got teenagers, they get tied up in their friends and you know, their, their social agenda just boggles the mind of anyone over the age of 30. But just take heart, men. Even if they're just kind of coming and going and kind of dabbling in what you're interested in, just give them the best you've got while they're with you. They won't forget it. And in later life, they'll not stray far from it. So just hang in there with your kids. They love you. And just give them what you can. All right, guys, I thought I'd give you a quick look at the crew. We got Luke, Scott, Clint, Dallas, Ken, and Olivia. And like I was saying earlier, teenagers, they're floating in and out, coming and going. But this is the crew we got working on this shelter. I want you to see them all one time in front of the camera. Stick with us, and we'll keep building. the back of the shelter. These cross pieces are green wood. They're pretty heavy. We're not going to try to lash them and rely on the lashing to hold them up. I got a cross piece back here. This cross piece is going to hold them up. So all we need to do is lash the cross piece. I told you we're building this shelter with a saw and a knife and that's it. And you saw the young men went a few minutes ago and cut a bunch of uh, grapevine. So we'll start using the grapevine now and lash this cross piece together and it'll hold this whole thing up. When you're working with grapevine, it's not going to be like working with rope, but uh, in other words, you can't wrap it as tight, but once you get it wrapped up pretty good, it'll definitely hold. Let me have this end around here and this end around here. Perfect. When you're working with grapevines, you can't get them tight like a rope. Just tie a square knot. Doesn't matter how loose the square knot is, it'll, it'll hold. You just can't over, you can't max out what the grapevine's capable of doing. It'll just take a little bit of experimenting to get it right. But it'll, uh, it'll hold. Got a cross piece here holding this up. The cross pieces are dug into the ground so it won't slide and spread out. It's a lot easier to support weight this way. 
it's good when you have help. If this is something you can do by yourself. You only got two hands and support something pretty heavy. This is the way to go when you're building a structure. All right, I want you to get a good look at the joints that we created for the framework for this shelter. All they are is V's and notches. You can do this easily and it's a secure joint. This right here is the goes to the back of the shelter. This is not so that it can't go front or back. This is the front of the shelter and this is not to sit down on here so it can't go side to you side. With a knife in the field very quickly. It's good and solid. Again, I just want you to take a good look at it.